If I want flight time, how long this shell stays in the air? Where do I go? Where am I going to take it? Which equation? Hmm. So here, this one, right? This is time and alpha just on their own. Right, so you can see you've got so many equations to choose from. You've got to think carefully about what you want and what you know. <coughs> okay? So I'm going to say, when I have this first result, 45, okay? I'm going to get one answer, and then I'll do the other one in a second. T is going to be 10 on cos 45. Cos 45 is, exact angle, 1 on root 2, right? So therefore, it, it comes onto the top of the fraction. So I just get 10 root 2 seconds. Okay, so there's one answer. When I take my other one, about 71 degrees, okay, um, I could punch this into a calculator, right, and get a value. But I think I can do a bit better than that, right? Because where did this 71 come from? It came from three, right? So what I can do is draw off myself a triangle, and I can put in, well, there's my alpha. If tan alpha is three, which side is going to be three? Opposite and adjacent, right? So opposite over adjacent. Tan of this alpha gives you three, right? So if I want to work out what um, cause of this new alpha is, I'm going to need the hypotenuse, which is root 10. Okay? So now instead of chucking this into, you know, uh, the calculator getting a messy number, I can say it's 10 on cos alpha, which is 1 on root 10. 1 on root 10, you see it? So 10 root 10 seconds, okay? Now, let's just compare these for a second. You always want to get at what these numbers mean. This second approach takes root 5 times longer than this approach, whatever root 5 is, 2 point something, right? Does that make sense? It does, right? Because obviously it has a much greater distance to travel, okay? So that's why it takes so much longer, even though it arrives at the same spot. Okay. Now, I'm rapidly running out of room. Impact angle and velocity. Impact angle and velocity. How am I going to do these? Theta. Okay. Just be careful, by the way, with what you call your angles and all that kind of thing. Which equation will I go to? How can I get theta and v? Because what I know, what I've got at the moment, is equations for x dot and y dot. Yes? So how do I get theta and v? Yeah, so you take the horizontal and vertical. Ah, so I'm going to, usually, we, um, we resolve the velocity, right? What we did at the start was we took an angle and a velocity, and then we broke it up into x's and y's. Okay, so now... I'm going to go back to that. I've got to reverse the process. Okay. So the piece of information that I'm going to need, I'm totally running out of space, so I'm going to kill this, are um, the x dot and the v dot at the moment of impact. Does that make sense? x dot and v dot at the moment of impact. So, how do I work that out? Moment of impact, right? Sorry, I should just say impact. We'll take one case at a time. I know we've got two. Let's just do the first one because it's a bit simpler. I know three things about the moment of impact, okay, or where the impact is. I know where it takes place, right? And I also know when it takes place, right? Uh, namely, at 10 root 2. Okay, so which equations am I going to throw this into? Here's x dot, right? And here's y dot. What do I do? Okay, so I can say. Uh, okay, now I'm going to get to that in about ten seconds. When you say substitute time, okay, because we want to know x dot and y dot, and then we can get these two, okay, you run into a problem. 
Because, for instance, in x dot, <laughs> there's no way to put time, right? In y dot, there is a place to put time, but you don't know what any of the other two are. So you're kind of stuck, right? So I'm going to need to know more information. I'm going to have to go for these equations, right? That's going to bring in these other pieces of information here, OK? So for instance, let's have a go at um, x, shall we? Um, I know where it impacts, namely 2,000. Okay, that should equal to 200 times my time, right? Cos alpha. Does that make sense? So what happens? This is 2,000. That's one on root two. Sorry, <laughs> I'm, I'm one step ahead of myself. Hmm. Does that make sense? Hmm. What other options have I got? Where else can I go? I'm going to this this equation here, right? What's it going to tell me? Y is equal to, sorry, that's, I know what that is, that's a thousand, right? Equals, hmm, minus five, t squared, there's t, right? So that's root 200, right? So t squared should be just 200, plus 200, 10 root two, sine alpha, yeah? Okay, what have I got here? That's a thousand. Plus 2,000 root 2 sine alpha. Can you see what's happening? Can you see it? 2,000 over there, I'm going to get the same result, right? Which is pleasant because that's going to give us the same angle. What do I do with that? I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. I want you to think about it. You had a whole double operation of motion. Have a look. All the equations there. I've deliberately resisted rubbing all this stuff off because you need it. Okay. You have to think about where you're going to put it. Wait, what are you trying to find? Impact angle. Impact both. Both. So impact angle is theta. Not alpha. Right. Right. Okay. So it's theta. Oh, no, we're running out of time. Hmm. Chuck what into velocity? Okay, which equation? What do I put it into? X dot and Y dot. Okay, X dot equals 2. 200. Which is... So this is 200 times 1 on root 2, 100 on root, sorry, 200 on root 2, that's 100 root 2, right? Okay, you happy with that? Hmm, this is x dot, right? Okay, so I should probably take it to y dot as well, right? I know what time is, I know what alpha is, okay, let's, let's finish this off. I've got minus 10 times this t, right? Plus 200 sine 45. Okay. okay, so what do we get here? Minus 100 root 2 plus 200 on root 2. You happy with that? That's 100 root 2, isn't it? Once you rationalize. So that's 0. What does this mean? Okay, let's step back. Clearly not paying attention. Actually, Jathlee's sort of paying attention, okay? This alpha, right? You didn't need to work it out. It came from here. 
th that's what we're subbing in. That's why we get the same result, okay? We, we want this angle, right? Which you can get from these two. Okay, remember we talked about resolving and backwards. So what does this actually mean? Okay, think about it. This is how fast it's moving that way, horizontally, okay? So that's going to be my horizontal velocity. What's this mean? Y dot equals zero. Y dot equals zero. That's the vertical velocity, right? If the vertical velocity is zero, isn't it doing this? Because vertical velocity is not hitting it upwards and it's not hitting it downwards, it's hitting it right on. Okay, so it's a horizontal angle. Okay? So, that was gone. We'll continue this on Monday, but.